What's up everybody, Mega Tech here, and hey, we're back, and I'm very, very happy to bring to you this second episode, and probably the last, in three-fourths home. Now, if you didn't see the first episode, it's kind of a big deal. Um, what I'm going to need you to do is go back and watch that, because you're you're not going to understand anything, probably, that's going on in this if you don't. Um, but I'll put a link uh, for the first episode in the description, and also, there's a playlist made for it, so you can go and watch that real quick. Um, but yeah, I'll put a card up here somewhere, um, so it'll, it'll flash on your screen, you can just click on it and go watch it in a second if you choose to. If not, then you can just watch this and we'll all be confused together. <laughs> now, I don't really want to explain a lot about what it is and, and spoil it for the people who may have stumbled on this video by mistake and, and didn't know there was a first part, so go watch it. I'm going to go ahead and start the epilogue of Three Fourths Home right now. Epilogue, idling in the rubble. Here we go. If you wonder why I keep looking over there, it's because my second screen is over there. And that's where I have, like, all the recording stuff. <laughs> she wished that she had called back then. Oh, yeah, because the tornado in the end of the last one. Oh, my God. I, oh, I need to know what happened to the family. Ben, Mom, and Dad, and and, and we're, we're Kelly, uh, in case you uh, don't remember. that it, it's I'm not hopefully getting this video out so fast. Wait, what, Minnesota? I thought we were in Arkansas or Kansas. I can't, I can't remember. What's going on here? How much was it snowing? This will affect the performance. None, a little bit, quite a bit, a whole lot. Oh. Um. How much was it snowing? I mean, let's go for a whole lot. It was snowing a whole lot. Oh, man. Whoa! This is way different looking. Ooh, call mom. Um, yeah, call her. <clears throat> Hello? Hey mom, it's me. Me? Who's me? It can't be Kelly. She never calls. Trying to be funny, mom? Uh, oh, come on. It hasn't been that long. I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> oh, it was on, uh, me? No, it was an honest question. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Three months without a call, and it's just sorry? Um, I'm really sorry? <laughs> you getting there? Oh, you're getting there. Like, yeah, okay. Apologize a little more. <laughs> it's... It's what? It's good to hear your voice. Aw. You too, Mom. What made you finally decide to call? I don't know, I just wanted to. Do I need a reason? Yeah, do I need one? I don't think so, but I've come to expect the motor from you. I could say, uh, can we stop with the guilt trip, please? I just wanted to talk. Yeah, I just wanted to talk, Mom. I believe you, it's just a surprise, uh, is all. Are you outside? It sounds like you're in a wind tunnel. Yeah, I'm waiting for my bus. Your brother told me that you guys were going to be getting a snowstorm. You're stranded, you're standing around in that? I'm used to it, or I'm regretting it. Um... I'm gonna say I'm used to it. I don't think I ever could. I don't think I ever could. But why are you waiting for a bus? You got your car fixed, didn't you? No, or I did, but the roads are pretty bad. Yeah, that's that's the smart answer. And taking the bus is better. How? I'd rather do that than driving it. It made sense earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, it made. Uh, I'd rather do that. If I were you, I'd rather risk it in my own heated car than wait around for a bus. How much longer are you gonna be stuck out there? Um, let's see. It should be here by now, or I have no idea. Uh, I don't have any idea. You don't bother to check the schedule? Yes, Mom, I checked the schedule. It's just late. Or I was in a rush. Um, it's just late. What's keeping it? The roads? That's my guess. Which bus are you waiting for? It's the 404, or why would you have asked that? Hmm. Which one, guys? I would pro uh, whoa, what's going on? I would probably be curious about it. You never know. I doubt it. What is happening? What? You could just get another bus. You could warm up, maybe get a little close, uh, closer to wherever you're going. That's not how buses work, Mom. Or, I could. They all go in the same direction. Um, that's not how buses work. How would I know that? I'm just trying to help. I didn't say it was bad advice. Where's Dad, by the way? Where's the Dad? Uh, that's sweet of you, trying to make me feel better. It's a start, but you have three months of unreturned calls to make up for. Don't forget. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? Oh, I don't know, until I'm tired of hearing it. Great. 
I'm not you off the hook if you can explain yourself. I've been really busy. I haven't been able to find the time, or I don't think you would understand the reason. Um... Yeah, I don't think you would understand the reason, because, come on, let's be realistic here. When someone doesn't return a call, holy crap, what is happening? I can walk? Um, I just figured out that I can walk. Sorry, this is all very odd. Fine, we can't skip over that part for now, but I would like to... But I would ask what you've been up to this whole time, wouldn't I? Uh, you would. Can I do anything else? Whoa, <gasps> that scared me for a second. Continue. My fault. And here you go. Um, then here you go. What's been keeping you bu so busy? Work. That's been a big part of it. Yeah, that's been a big part of it. Or about that. Uh, that's been a big part of it. So the same place. The coffee shop. Yep. No, I got a new job. Or I can't remember where I was working. Haha. <laughs> don't be a smart ass. Let's see. Um, don't want to work at the coffee shop. No, I got a new job. Did something happen to the old place? Kind of a long story. No, I just found something better. I'm improving my life. Oh, that's good. I was expecting something much worse. Where's the new job? Just another coffee shop, a restaurant, a museum. Museum sounds good. That sounds interesting. What kind of museum is it? A science museum or a living museum? Ooh. Hmm. I think a living museum sounds much more fun. A living museum? I've never heard of that. Well, we dress up. There's a pal. Like Pioneer Times. Yeah. No. Yep. <laughs> Is there a bonnet? Tell me there's a bonnet. There's a bonnet. <laughs> and an apron. And an apron. <laughs> oh my god, I have to have a picture. Please, please send me a picture. <laughs> sure thing, it's a hoot. Absolutely not. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll send you a picture. I'm going to have it framed. Oh, I should not send her a picture now. Fine, I look good in my bonnet. That's crossing a line, Mom. Yeah, it's crossing a line. I will do my pictures as I please, and you already said I could have it. I'm not letting you take that one back. What did I agree to? <laughs> it's going to be amazing, believe me. God, I need a laugh. Why, is everything okay? I'm fine. I didn't mean anything by that. If you say so. I accidentally clicked that, but I got the read at this time. Um, I do say so. Any chance you've been able to ask... If I, wait a minute. Any chance you've been able to ask if you can get some time off to come home for the holidays? I haven't asked yet. You were planning to come home, weren't you? Um... As soon as I can, yeah. Great, do you already have a plane ticket? Not yet. Uh, or I was just going to drive. Hmm. Let's go with I was going to... Uh, let's go with not... Let's go with going to drive. What about your car? Oh, yeah. Wait, was it fixed? For crying out loud, Kelly, make up your damn mind. I really can't remember. I forgot. I just doubled back on what I said. Either way, I don't trust it on, uh, trust it on the road for such a long drive. I'd rather, much rather you fly... I don't trust you don't trust the car or you don't trust my driving I probably should fly let's just get out of this lie <laughs> look at that we agree on something when you think you'll be able to fly in once the semester is finished up yep when's that gonna be just a couple more weeks that's sooner than I thought are your classes all right or are they going all right oh it's the bus it's been a tough semester they're going pretty well it's been a tough semester what my grades are terrible is, is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's just the classes that I'm, t uh, I'm taking are difficult. Hey! 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 I wanted to I get on the bus! Well, I thought you were looking forward to the semester, especially the photo uh, photography class. You bought that expensive camera and everything. Turns out the teacher hates me, or that was before I knew I was terrible at it. Nah, let's not assume the teacher hates us. That can't be true. I've seen some of the pictures you've taken. They're good. They're boring. They're derivative. Or they have no meaning. Eh, they're derivative. Derivative? Do you really believe that? I do. And your teacher? He agrees? She does. Oh, she. Sorry. I, I assumed. Never mind. So, what does she want, to, want you to do? She wants me to be more daring or she wants to be more experimental. I think experimental because daring you could, you could get hit by something standing in front of something for an action shot. <laughs> like Picasso or something? Not exactly. It's actually okay. Sure, like Picasso. Uh, not exactly. What does she mean? Explain it to me. It's more about framing subject choice exposure. I'll pretend to know what you're talking about. How are you going to be more experimental? I have no idea. Couldn't you just fake it? I mean, 
explain what you're doing is experimental without being completely true? I don't want to do that. I want to be true. Why not? I don't want to phone it in. <laughs> or I can do what... I know I can do what she wants. Yeah, there's a spirit. That's fine. Don't forget the grade. I'm working on it, or you would be all about the grade, wouldn't you? I'm working on it. Good. I hope you have a plan. Um, I just have to do well on my final project, or I'm meeting with my teacher on Monday. Yeah. Yes, I'm meeting. Uh, did you actually do that? No. <laughs> probably good to have been, yeah, it probably would have been a good idea. Believe me, I know. Uh, what about the final project, the one you showed me, uh, showed to me? It's been great. Wait, it has to be great if I'm going to pass, and it does have to be great. What is going on with that? I'm terrified. Let's start do. Okay, just making sure. I wanted to make sure that I explore all my options here. I'm going to hit the back button now, too, by the way. Okay. What about the final project? We already talked about that. It has to be great. Uh, it will be. I have a feeling. Thanks, Mom. Here's hoping, or my professor wasn't too happy with the project. Here's hoping. What about the rest of your classes? Is there anything you can do to help those grades out? What's with all the questions, Mom? Yeah, it does feel like an interrogation. I'm just trying to understand what's going on. I don't think I can save them. I can walk further. Okay, I did not know that. You really wouldn't give me a break, would you? Yeah. Probably not. You had to talk to you. I haven't talked to you in months. I'd want to know everything, especially about school. I was shocked when you told me about your grades that year. The tutor didn't work out. I was furious. I didn't think. Uh, I don't think I've ever been that mad at you. It wasn't like I wanted it to happen. Oh, jeez. What is going on? I didn't realize all this was happening. Oh boy. No, but you let it happen. Again, you dug a hole for yourself and and I think you were an idiot for it. Thanks. Can we move on, please? I don't want to talk about this anymore. And to lie about it to me for so long. That's just how I that's just not how I raised you. There was a lot more going on than you knew. Then you should have talked to me about it. I want to be there for you, Kelly. I don't want to help. Okay, Mom. Talk to me, Kelly. I want to be here for you. I want to help. Wait a minute. Didn't she just say that? Everything's falling apart. I feel like I'm alone here. Well, you don't want to say that, because if you say that, then that basically she's going to say, you should come back home then. You don't call. You don't do anything. Everything's falling apart. Oh, Kelly, everything is not falling apart. That's what it feels like, or I knew you'd be dismissive. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to address that. You, you can't just ask me to be up front with you and then dismiss what I'm saying. That's not being dismissive, being supportive. That's in your mind. Everything could, uh, by the way, yeah, I'm going to add that because I'm. that's my train of thought. Everything couldn't be falling apart, literally. You still have a roof over your head. Look how that, how long that lasted. Stop being dramatic. Like your problems were anything close to what I was going through at the time. Okay, okay, true. Are you ready to talk about any of that yet? No. Then let's talk this through. Ah, oh, shit, I hit the button. I keep doing that. What do you mean? What about Hannah and and uh, and Kyle and his his boyfriend? What's his name? About Hannah. About Kyler and Peter. Let's talk about Kyler and Ky Kyle and Peter. Bah. What about them? I hardly hear from them anymore. Why is that? They moved to Florida, or they're just living uh, different lives, I guess. Yeah, they moved to Florida. That's a good reason to talk. I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I'm checking the uh, recording equipment. And there's that bird again that turned into a demon in the last one. Oh, God. Uh, and you don't keep in touch. It's hard to. We did for a while. That's usually how it goes. What changed? Time. I know what you mean. It's kind of like what happened with Gracie. You remember her, right? Yeah, what about her? I knew you would. Uh, she moved to Chicago a couple years ago. I didn't know that. It's just one of those things that just never came up, I guess. Anyway... We promised to keep in touch, and for a while, we did. But it's hard to maintain something like that. You know, people, they have their own lives. It's just, they just drift apart. It still sucks. You're right, it really does. So is that all it's getting to you? Or is there more? There's Hannah, Jesse and I are having problems, and that's it, I guess. There's Hannah. How is she doing? She got married. Oh, good for her. I guess so. She seems happy, or maybe not. Yeah, let's be let's bring some doom and gloom to other people. <laughs> what? You don't like the guy? He's an asshole. So you're avoiding her because of him? Pretty much. 
You could arrange to have girls dinner or something. That wouldn't go down too well. Or I've tried to set something up. Yeah, I've tried. I've tried. It just doesn't work. But it hasn't happened, and it's on her. Maybe I haven't tried hard enough. You can't blame yourself if she's avoiding you. I'm not. Or, let's see, this is a... Uh, I know, but it's hard not to. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Good. Who knows? Maybe she'll come back around. She's bound to start missing some of her friends. I hope so. I do, too. So is the hand situation the only thing getting down? Getting you down? No, there's more. Keep talking, then. Jesse and I are having problems. What kind of problems? He's been distant. She's been distant. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. All right, you know what? Uh... Uh, yeah, she's been distant. This is how, like, you never see her. No, we've been li no, we've been living together. I see her plenty. Um, yeah. Uh huh. This is news to me. Do I even want to know how long that's been going on? Not that long. Well, I haven't talked to you uh, about that little secret. Uh, wait. Well, have to talk about that little secret another time. What's the issue then? We never really talk, or she's never home. And from the sound of things, you're constantly busy. Maybe she has a lot going on, too. That's the thing. I don't know. Maybe? I like maybe. What don't you know? Uh, yeah, what? What? You don't know? Sorry, I get confused when I read, try to read fast. Exactly. She doesn't tell me, or I have an idea. You think she's keeping something from you? No, I'm afraid she's having a hard time, too. Yeah, that's... I don't want to assume the bad. I want to try to just say that we're, we're, we need each other, but we're far apart because... We can't communicate, so that's what I'm going with. You don't think she's happy? I don't think either of us are. That's the real issue then, isn't it? I can't tell you what to do, but I want you to be happy. And you're not. Something has to change. Change could be worse. <sighs> you're right. No, you're right. I, I agree. So that's what's been going on to you, uh, getting to you. Or is there more? Isn't that enough? <laughs> you know, I didn't mean it like that. And between Jesse, Hannah, and the boys, I can understand what you feel. It's ab um, is abandoned. That is abandoned. A good word. It it pretty much describes what's going on here. So it works. I'm sorry, Kelly. I wish you didn't feel that way. I don't even know how it goes. This, how it got this far. What do you mean? I didn't even notice it ha it happening. I don't want to hear anything. There we go. Um, it was just like I woke up one day and everything was different. Why didn't you try to stop it? There was nothing to be done. It felt inevitable. And I felt stuck telling the same story over and over. Everyone else had to move on with their lives. But not me. And the whole time, you never once uh, thought to call me? Ah, there's the siren. No. And you know what? I don't know where Ben is and I don't know where the dad is. Oh, come on. It wasn't that simple. Is this really a conversation you uh, you wish you could have had with me? You took over the conversation. What am I supposed to do? How could I have done that? Question after question after question? Do we have to go through this every time? I don't know what you mean. You're the one asking, uh, you're the one who asked for all this and you're trying to act like I'm in the wrong? Well? Uh, not this, not this, not this. Oh, please, you're just ashamed to say that you wanted this to happen. That you wanted your problems to feel important. What? You knew that I was having a hard time. You know that all of us were. Instead of acting like you cared about all the things that we were going through, you decided to bitch and moan about all your stupid problems instead. Whoa! Whoa! What? Yeah, stop, please! Your dad nearly died. Okay, we clarified that. Weeks went by when I didn't have anyone to talk to. Ben tried to help, but he just doesn't understand how. Okay, so they're alive. I'm sorry, or I didn't. Um, I'm not, I'm not, you're being mean. Did it even occur to you that maybe I needed someone to talk to? Mom, please, I didn't. <sighs> I didn't raise you to be so selfish or ungrateful. And the whole time you're throwing your future away because you're sad? What the hell is wrong with you? It wasn't. There was, This is really not choices here. Your dad and I worked to give you every opportunity we didn't have. I never had the chance to go to college. But you turn around and end up back where we were 
interviewing for your dad's old job because what? You just couldn't handle it? Can we just go back to what we were, how we were talking before? Yeah, really, jeez. Why? This is what you're really thinking, deep down, buried beneath all the other garbage you're holding on to. <sighs> I'm gonna just say, please, stop this shit. Just tell me why you didn't call. Admit it. You were selfish, self-absorbed. You didn't care. That's not true. I would be hanging up at this point. Then why didn't you call? This? Why wouldn't I? Or why would I? So I could just list the ways I was a disappointment? Yeah. Or to hear all the ways uh, that our, your lives were falling apart? Jeez. And how was there nothing that I could do to help? Or to remind myself that I was completely on my own. I was terrified. You and Dad were always there for me. Then everything changed. Wait a minute. I wanted to prove that I could make it on my own. That you didn't need to worry about me. But I failed. I failed and I was terrified to ask for help. Because for the first time in my life, I didn't feel like you had... Uh, you had any help to give. Oh boy. Just say something, please. So you're done? <laughs> I'm done. Why are you torturing yourself? Because I could have done better. We all could have. What makes you think you should carry all of the blame? I could have just called. You think a single phone call would have made uh, everything different? It would have helped. Sure, but you didn't, and there's no changing it now. And we managed. We kept going. So stop playing the martyr and just uh, finish our con yeah, and finish our conversation. Okay. This is the part. This is the one part you're always uh, get. It. This is the one part you're always get exactly right. You know. Is that wrong? Am I reading that wrong? This is the one part you're always get exactly right you know yeah it is that is a, that is not proper sentence i'm sorry i had to overread that one more time it should be this is the one part you always get exactly right you know hmm what part you can always talk to me kelly i hate that you feel like you're left that you're out there all by yourself there's a lot going on here i know but i always have your i always have time for you i don't want to burden you it's not a burden i'm I'm sorry I haven't called. It's okay. I'm not mad. Let's get on that bus. I'm trying to get on the bus. I'm trying to get on the bus. <laughs> oh no, damn it, I skipped that. You should get on this one. You've been standing out in the cold long enough. But I haven't asked about Dad. He's doing fine. He's healing. Starting to get around on his crutches. It's been a slow process, but he's getting there. Or how's Ben doing in school? Ben? He's definitely having problems. That isn't anything new. It's something that your dad can't handle. We'll figure it out. Okay, so this is taking place before all that crap went down. If there's anything I can do, stop it, Kelly. Get on the damn bus. I don't want to. It's going to leave whether you're on, on it or not. It'd be easier to ride along, wouldn't it? I go. Okay. I love you, Kelly. Love you too. Yeah. Until next time. Hang up. Damn, this is powerful shit. Wow. Oh, unbelievable. This thing really makes you feel a certain kind of way, doesn't it? Is that it? Do we have anything else going on? I think that's probably it, right? Yes.
Wow, and there's not even any music. That's just so surreal. It's just it's good to have it's good to have this this little bit of uh oh this little piece that to just kind of give you the bridge between like you know where it was now or, or, or earlier in the life up to when you know the events of the first part happened so wow it's very but not a lot of people worked on this this is crazy the special thanks list is longer than than the developers unbelievable so we're gonna i guess we'll go ahead and jump out of here after it kicks us back to the main menu we'll have a quick chat so let's see uh make sure there's nothing else before we get there because i don't want to i don't want to cut this off you know prematurely so all right all right guys let's jump out and have a one last chat about three-fourths home okay guys we are back from three-fourths home you guys this was a really cool story. Um, now, one thing I'll admit is I was a tiny bit confused because I know this is the epilogue and the epilogue is supposed to wrap up the confusing parts of the story and you want to make sure that you have everything in kind of a nice little bow at the end. But it kept referring to things and it kept making me think that this was potentially pro ha events happening before the last episode that we recorded and that didn't make any sense to me so i kind of i kind of had to like jumble around a little bit and, and make sense of it so i might have re referenced it a little bit oddly here and there because i was, I was kind of confused at a certain point or two but all in all the, the, regardless of that fact the story is is very very top notch it really makes you invested in the characters and maybe there's a little bit of funneling going on and what i mean by that is it may not really matter what you pick too much because it might just end up you know having the same result in the end which is fine because it's all about the feeling of having choice and not actually having choice when you go and dig around and those kind of things like on the channel we played until dawn me seth and ray when we played until dawn there was probably a lot less like detrimental choices to these characters than we thought and if we would have dug around and looked for those answers we would have been less surprised at the magic of the game this is probably along those lines like there's probably not much choosing per se but it just gives you that illusion now one of the choices they did give you though is you could be a total jerk or you could just be you know uh blase and just kind of eh, I roll with it whatever you say or you could be very uplifting and, and you could say yeah you're right mom I should have I should have been more in contact with you dad and Ben I could have told you more about my life and what was going on and Blah blah blah. You could have done that, and that felt like a cool choice. And I kind of, I think I kind of stayed somewhere in the middle a little bit. I, I stuck up for myself when she was pressuring me too much, and I also wanted to be like, "Yes, you're right. I know I've been kind of lousy with the communicating back and forth." So yeah, so there's that, and that felt really cool. But guys, I'm gonna leave you uh, the links to everything down below to go watch the, the the other video if you didn't, which you really should. I don't know why you would start with this one. I'm also going to leave the links to the game so you can go download it, support it. It's on like everything. It's on Xbox One, PS4, uh, uh, PC, which is what I'm playing. You know, I'm playing on PC. And um, I think you should go check it out. Maybe make some different decisions than I did. But guys, it is the end of the video. And that means there is just one more thing left to say. You know the drill. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Become one of the Titans. And I'll see you guys in the next video.